And welcome back to some more Scratches Director's Cut. So in the last episode we did a shit ton of stupid ass phone calling. And we found out that uh, the active, or the active, the uh, Bl uh, James Blackwood's account is still active. And we're gonna read some more newspapers. Uh, let's see, I went through the news during June 1963. So let's see, the article wasn't an, as informative as I had hoped, but there was a phone number scribbled on the page. Let's see, Bailey. Alright, so let's see, what, what is this about? Following the shocking news, it became a full knowledge of Louis. For the sinister outcome of the story that has been in mind of every citizen of our town these past few days, Mrs. Jim has died due to a heart attack. Alright, okay, so let's go ahead and phone, um, phone call this phone number. Yes, more calling. Yay. I'll see you all there, do down there, do we do? Alright, let's call William Bailey. Oh, damn, you, you seem sick, boy. Uh, are you Mr. William Bailey? That's me. And you are? Yes, my name is Michael Arthay. I'm a journalist for a local newspaper in Rothbury. I see. Well, you're the former police chief of this town, aren't you? Indeed. I served many years ago. And you were once in charge of a famous, or should I say, infamous case here? Ah, oh, bloody hell. Don't tell me this is about James Blackwood. Well, yes. I'm writing a story for my newspaper. Um, the most famous police cases of Northumberland. Have you got any idea how many times I've talked about this? <laughs> about Blackwood there. Please, Mr. Bailey, I beg you. It won't be the same if I can have the information from someone who was there, and no less than the renowned William Bailey of Rothbury. Oh, all right, son, spare me the nonsense. What is it you want to know? Well, in the first place, what did Ava Mariani see, exactly? She saw enough, son. James Blackwood was dragging a shape into a hole in the garden. At first, And Blackwood was automatically deemed guilty? He was found digging his wife's son. Why did James Blackwood never appear before a jury? When you're someone as renowned and famed as James Blackwood was, you can pretty much avoid the authorities. However, you can't avoid justice. And justice was brought upon James Blackwood. Justice? How? He died shortly after the accusation. You should know about that. What happened to Dr. Christopher Milton? How should I know? You bet your life that slimy worm was up to something. I couldn't prove it, though I spent years investigating him. A shame we couldn't implicate him as much as James Blackwood. Are you saying he could have had something to do with the murder? Blackwood and Milton were very intimate. Milton did the impossible to aid his friend. Died. You do the math. And was ever determined the cause of death of Catherine Blackwood? Yes, partly. Mrs. Mariani managed to see her throat was slit open. Ripped, she would say. It must have been horrible for the poor girl. Still, everything sounds so vague, as if something were missing. Are you questioning my performance on this case, son? <laughs> No, 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 sir, not at all. I'm just trying to figure this out. Like, why a proper autopsy was never done. An autopsy to whom? Please, sir, this is very important to me, and I could really use your help. I'm trying to fit all the pieces of this mystery together. Mystery? <laughs> what mystery? You must be one of those people that just love splitting hairs, don't you? I don't think I understand, sir.
There's always a reason behind her murder. Nobody has ever found out why Blackwood did what he did. Psychopaths don't need any reasons. And James Blackwood turned into one, precisely. There's got to be something else. I can't believe Blackwood flipped just like that one sunny day. It doesn't make any sense. People flip, son. You could be flipping right now without knowing it. <laughs> well then, tell me how Blackwood reacted when you pulled his wife from beneath the ground. I beg your pardon. I mean Catherine Blackwood's body when you dug in the garden of the manor. Like I said, they hampered the investigation. We never managed to set one foot inside the manor. What kind of bloody journalist are you, son? <laughs> but are you telling me you never actually retrieved the body? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Now, if you don't mind. But, but wait, th this doesn't make any sense. Stop wasting my time, damn it. I was enjoying my retirement until you had the brilliant idea of calling me. I don't want to hear anything else about this case ever again. Please, Mr. Bailey, don't... Leave me alone. Well, okay, so the question is... Whose body is in the damn crypt then? Oh my god. Alright, so there are a lot of, like, journal note, um, what do you call it, entries that I, 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 I don't want to read in this episode. It will take w way too much time. So I'll just go ahead and flip them over, and if you want to read them, you can just go ahead and pause. And yeah, let's see. Pitch 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, and nothing more. Right, let's go and check our mailbox because I'm pretty sure a certain letter from our assistant Barbara, who studied Italian, has arrived. So, if you can remember, we had an uh, Italian letter, I think it was Italian, from the maid, if I'm not mistaken, and we sent it to Barbara because she did some studies in it Italian. Alright, there we go. Even though I was anxious to read the letter, I tried to remind myself that I should give a raise of my give a raise to my efficient assistant. Alright. Dear mother, I spent the whole morning running a few errands for the Blackwood family. And on the way On the way back many thoughts crossed my mind. I take back what I said. I don't I want to Okay, what the fuck? Can we... Wait... I, I don't... Fuck, I can't read this handwriting. Please. <sighs> I want to return home. Things haven't gotten any better here. Everyone is behaving mysteriously and they try to avoid me. I do understand that they must still be disturbed about the death of their son. But it has been almost two years since that already. That already. I feel like an alien. I don't belong here anymore, and I find it hard to sleep at night. There's too much activity in this house, too much moving around, and that is unnerving me. I feel something terrible is going on here, and I want to go as far away as possible. I will miss, miss, miss Mrs. Blackwood dearly, as she has always been kind to me, but I'm afraid my health is at stake. And I've been seeing some strange things too. I can't c explain it, but I think someone did something very wrong. That Dr. Milton would offers would often come to talk with this, this sir for many hours, and nobody would allow me upstairs. Although I've been uh, act, act, uh, uh, fuck, I don't know, taking pictures there. Uh, I hope this doesn't upset you, but don't worry. They are well hidden under a loose board under beneath my bedside table. Please, mother, forgive me. I know I would have listened to you. It's not like I'm... Uh, stubborn? I don't know. I just wanted to wait and see if things would get any better for myself. They haven't. And that's why I'm asking you for a place to stay while I sort out my situation. Call me as soon as you can. I usually have to stay in town until 5 o'clock, but lately I have been coming back about an hour earlier. I just want to leave this place. I confess that I am scared. 
I'll be waiting, and please hurry. With love, Eva. Alright, so thankfully I know cursive. I don't know if the, this, these younger generations of ours learn cursive. They should, but you know. Alright, so let's go and check, uh, check in her room for the boards. Now, where the fuck is her room? Alright, here we go. So, let's see. She should, did, uh, let's see. This is a desk. She, she did say table, right? Let's see, is it over here? No, wait, no. Uh, there don't seem to be any loose boards here. Loose boards, loose boards, nope. Over here then. Let's see, where are the loose boards? Oh, by this table maybe. Oh, wait, there we go. Bloop! Uh, okay, so she took a picture of him digging... digging... Her, the, um, digging a hole for his wife's body, I suppose. So let's see here. I have to remember this, I suppose. Uh, something here, a window. I don't know what the fuck this is, but yeah. Was that all? Okay. Right, we are outside. We're gonna go this way. Uh, I can't remember if I've been here before. Let's see. Does this seem familiar? I don't know. Have I been here before? I don't know. No, wait, I haven't been here. Okay, so how do I open this door? Okay, so I, oh, I use my oil on the hinges of the door and hope that it will re reduce the dust. All right, there we go. So we're in this greenhouse. I didn't even know this existed. A thick mist struck me in the eyes as I entered the barren greenhouse, and the smell of long dried plants and dirt permeated the air. Okay, some pots. Oh, there's something shining over there. Let's see, several pots. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, let's go and pick this shit up, I suppose. Whatever it was, there was no way I could reach it. Okay, so it's down there. Alright, I didn't read the f first thing. Uh, okay, a dead tree. Let's see, can we find anything in here? A huge pot containing a bush had fallen on the drains. Okay, on the drain, should we remove this, maybe? I don't think we have anything to use it with. Alright, let's go upstairs and we see if we find something useful up here. The upper walkway was livelier than below due to several plants that had somehow managed to subsist in it, on it. Okay, let's go here. Uh, no, wait, I wanna go over here. A large ho hose was lying on the walkway. Can I pick up this shovel? There was a shovel in the planter, but it was stuck in the soil. Right, maybe we can use a tool to retract it or retrieve it. Nope. Right, let's see if anything is here. Nope. Maybe over here. Let's see a fumigator. Some dust. Uh, nothing useful over here. Is there... no. Nothing useful over here. No. Can I open the drawers? Yes, I can. February 7th. As much as, uh, as much as I regret it, I decided to stop caring for the greenhouse. All my efforts to save the plants have been in vain. I just can't seem to figure out what is wrong with them. It has been a few weeks since they began falling apart at pieces, dying without any apparent cause. Some of them would just crumble at the slightest touch. This is not all only frustrating, but very unsettling. Every time I enter this place, I feel a sense of dread and decay. What I most regret is the condition of that rare plant I brought from South Africa. It's now all sad looking and almost dried up. I will take it upstairs and look after it, hoping it will get more sunlight. Assuming that everything that has been happening here has a natural explanation. Death is surrounding this place and I can't seem to do anything about it, in spite of my concerns. I can't help thinking that all of this began when I brought that... I wonder... No, I have to put those thoughts aside. I should stop reading all those sinister books. They're getting under my skin. It's that fucking mask, dude. The plant on top of the table was strangely attractive. Fucking burn it to pieces. I don't want this African plant over here. Wait, wait. Did we check this? 
Can we check this? Oh! A something, cl a clipper or something. Can I use it on this one? I took a few leaves with me. <gasps> oh my god, okay. Alrighty, alright, alrighty, let's see. What should we do now then? Oh, I picked up a hose or something. Okay. So I have... Uh... Where did my... What? Where did, where did the hose go? Oh, I... Oh, okay, I did something over here. I... I... Oh... I pulled it down for some reason. Uh... What do they want me to do with this one? Oh, I pulled... Oh! Oh, maybe now I can pull down the shovel. Okay, let's go down and pull it down, I suppose. Alright, can we drag the... This... Oh, wait. No, we should use this one. Put it here. Apparently the water wasn't running. Oh my god, do I have to use one of these items? No. Okay, so what the hell do I do in here, yo? I need to fix the drain somehow. Maybe it has something to do with... Oh! <gasps> the shiny object! It's gone! Where the hell did that go? Where did the shiny object go? It disappeared! Oh wait, no, it's here. Oh wait. Do you want the leaves? Do you want the leaves, man? Do you want the leaves? I feel like there must be some reason that we can be here. Oh, I removed a few branches of leaves, clearing that corner of the drain. Oh, maybe you can use the water now. Nope, okay, we have to do something else. Alrighty, oh, we're down here in the basement. We're gonna fix the stupid ass pipes because they are fucking ruined for some reason. Right, so where are the piperinos? Is it this, these ones? Oh, wait, this one maybe. Uh, I, I, need, I need something like a crowbar. Do I need anything else? No, okay, wait. Crowbar. Hammer. Bonk! Uh, is it working now, or do I need to do it again? There's no... okay, so I guess it's... Okay, I guess I'm done here. Let's go back to the... Fucking greenhouse, yo! Alright, I'm back here, yo, and oh my god, I'll say it till the day, day I die. Please add fast travel to this crap ass. Okay, so and I, I think I said this uh, uh, before, but uh, uh, walking alone uh, without talking gets me fucking freaked out, yo. It's scary as hell. Uh, okay, so I don't know what the f hell... Oh, wait. We're gonna... Yeah, I think we're gonna loosen up dirt or whatever. And let's see, can we grab this shovel? And let's see, there we go. Alright, so now I have a shovel. What the hell do I want to do with the shovel? Okay, so we can turn the water in here. Okay, now maybe the little object has gone somewhere. Hello? No, it's here. Oh, it disappeared. Hey! Tell me how it has been washed out of sight. <gasps> oh my god, where the hell did it go? Alright, so we're here by the, this creepy ass tree, and I always end up here when I get lost. I hate this tree. Oh, here it is! What What the hell did I pick up? A key? <gasps> A super mysterious key, but I have so many keys, I don't, I don't need any more. How do I get out? Get out over here! The three had a little hole in the base which allowed some water to pass through. I mean, oh, I want to go in there and explore, but I can't. Alright, so we're in this, in this study here, and I... Oh, I haven't been here for a long while. Now, we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna go in this... This locked, I think... Is this, is this the key? Yeah, it is! Okay, sweet. Alright, so... Oh, oh my god, I had to... Stupid combination ass shit. Alright, let's look at this letter. Dear Catherine, I think that was his wife. First of all, I beg you to take the utmost care in order to keep this letter away from James. Oh, okay, so it's not from James. Okay, I don't like to think of the mental breakdown he would suffer if he reads this. 
You know, James much better than I do, so you must share my conviction that he'd never harm anything. But even so, I'd ask you to be careful whenever he's around. At least until we sort out this situation. He has been especially unstable lately, speaking about his determination to suppress this so-called curse. I truly fear for him and for his sanity. I still wouldn't say he qual qualifies as dangerous, but just in case, be cautious. Well, I don't think he or she took your advice, dude, because she's dead. I've been playing the role of an ally who believes in James, and so far I think I've done a good job in convincing him. But I'm afraid I won't. It won't last too much for too much longer. I can't do all the things he's he's now asking me to. He has been delving into some very obscure arts, and what began as a hobby has now become a dangerous obsession. He wants me to perform an African ritual on that awful mask he brought. He's convinced he has released an ancient spirit which will harm everything he loves and cares for. It's also utterly insane that I'm ashamed to translate this into words. My biggest fear is that I will end losing my own mind along with him. His, I have to put an end to all of this. And about the that other issue. You should know I've gotten over it. Catherine, what we all did two years ago, the decision we made and knew would affect the course of our lives, lives has been haunting any sleep ever since then. I know you must be the one more affected by this, but you wouldn't understand all that has been going through my head. The confusion, the contradiction. Now more than ever, I'm not sure whether it was the right decision or not. But it's not turning back and we must face the consequences. All I wanted to say about this is that I'm deeply sorry if I behaved erratically these past days and unnerved you. You have my word I won't ever reveal anything. Whatever you do with this letter, make sure James doesn't feel anything suspicious. I'd rather have you destroy this letter. Extreme situations require extreme measures. Christopher. Christopher Milton was, yeah, the doctor. Okay, so maybe they, they slept together. And obviously James found his letter, and maybe that's why he's killed his wife. Okay, we got some cash in here. So I wonder if we can can we open this? Uh, I I don't I don't remember any code. Okay, so apparently you can find the numbers in the nursery with the like, baby crib and the blocks or whatever. And let's see here. So there are five blocks. Uh, with the letters R, B, I, N, and O, which spells out Robin, and their child had a name that started with an R, so it gets, I guess, yeah, it's the name of the child, and the numbers we need are 9, 7, alright, there we go, open this sh bastard up, oh wait, no, I want to open you, bloop, what the hell, there's nothing in here. Okay, so I have to do up like a puzzle. Okay, what the hell? Click. I open both. Oh, oh my god. Oh, advanced coggery. Okay, uh, there's nothing for me to do in here. What? What do you want me to do in here? Oh, I got a key. Okay, I didn't even notice. Okay, oh, look at this super special key, yo. Alright, Reno, so we're outside. We're gonna go, let's see. Uh, we're gonna go this way, I think. And take this... Br I can't remember, have I, be have I been here? I don't know. The soil in this area of the garden was devoid of life. What? Is uh, is this devoid? I don't know. What, I don't know what that means. It feels like. Wait, did he bu did he bury his wife here? Did you did you bury? Wait, the sho shovel. I didn't know where I should dig. Okay, maybe we'll find. Oh, oh, a chapel. We can we can pray and stuff. That's what is fun. Alright, I guess we sh should use this sh super priest key on this dough, yo. The lock produced a loud, loud noise that echoed in the quietness of the area. It made me wonder about the secrets that have been kept safe and undisturbed in here for years. Sweet, we're in jail! Oh! 
Oh wait, no, I thought, yeah. Not even inside the chapel did I perceive a peaceful environment. The deadly stillness was deeply unnerving. Oh, what's this noise? Shut the hell up, please! You shut the hell up. No, you shut the hell up. Alright, Jesus, my man. My man, Jesus, boy. Jesus. Ori, 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 Can we do something in here? Can I pick this? Oh, oh, shit. Okay. The... Uh, the chalice was lavish and pleased with the iron, but was certainly of no use to me. Then what the hell am I doing in all up in here, yo? What the hell? What, what is that? Why do you allow me to open this creep? At this point, I was going to bother with light switches anymore. Jesus! Jesus, my lord! There's a large wooden statue of Christ Christ looking after this holy peace. Okay, can we, can we loot anything from this church and sell it on the market? Nope, but the appears that I'm an. Okay, 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 Reno! Alright, let's go upstairs, I suppose. Oh, 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 oh! What's all up in here, yo? A book, Holy Bible. Okay. Uh oh, a nail, and a wooden what? No, there was a wooden thing in here. Oh, it's just a carving. All right, all right, I understand. Uh, okay, away with you. Anything else in here? Okay, close with uh, to, for a priest, I think. Alright, what the hell are we supposed to do with this? Okay, are we supposed to do uh, uh, cru crucify someone? Maybe? 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 Oh, there's a metal ring here. It was some kind of small metal ring. Can we do anything with it? Maybe crowbar? Oh! Oh! What the hell is this? Can I do anything down here? Jesus, oh! Do I use my this, maybe? That wasn't useful. Do I put it in, in Dick? Let's see, he has all the little... All over there, but he doesn't have any... He, he's missing his... This one here. There we go! There was a nail inserted into something. Into the hole. Uh, Jesus... What do I do with you now? Do you have to hammer it in, maybe? Nope. Oh, there's a sign here. Something was curiously different here about the inner sign now. Uh, uh, okay. Shovel? Do, what, what do we do with the sign, then? Oh! Oh, Rime! Oh my god, this is some like Assassin's Creed shit, yo. <gasps> oh my god. Go down, go down. It's so safe, I promise you. Uh, turn on the lights in here, baby. No more lights for me anymore. Um, can we use the matches, maybe? I need, I need to turn on some shit all up in here. Use this light. Use the light. I am smart. <gasps> Some books. I don't care about these books. All the hidden room. There is a stick. There are notes. Alright, March 26th. The folklore of the Dalma is just as stirring as their relax. In, if my researches had been correct, then I could have stumbled upon one of the most ancient tribes ever known to humanity, dating back to the era where the so-called bush Bushmen inhabited South Africa. We're talking about 20,000 years ago. How could any civilization manage to survive all this time without ever hunting or expanding, just being there? I don't dare to imagine that 200 cent what, uh, what 200 centuries of inbreeding and cannibalism can do to people. I've seen them, and they can't be called humans. What What is most unsettling is their mystical background. Impossible to be, 
to be considered a religion due to its complete lack of basic rules and ma maturity. The only simple premise is to keep an evil entity at bay which has been stalking them since the beginning of time or dark ages. At this point in my research I had to stop and consider the implications. The Dalmar actually thought of the later period, the systematic slaughtering of mankind as good times or golden ages. I thank the lord that this tribe never managed to grow, as I seriously think the region, maybe even the entire continent, could have suffered terrible consequences. This history is so ancient that it makes me feel dizzy. The vengeful god, which is in incidentally referred to as Dolom, would control the Dalmar via its many incarna incarnations. Most of the time it would be a tall feline, like fe figure always dwelling in shadows and slaying any villagers who would unwittingly come close. Some say its deadly claws would not only penetrate your body, but your soul. The purpose of the harassment is unclear. It would look as if the Dalmar were simply toys to play with. It seems that it seems then that the Dalmor managed to free themselves from its clutches with the help of an amulet or charm which would efficiently force the entity to retreat. The most curious thing is how this amulet was conceived. Two main elements were required to perform the exorcism of this evil and they had to be strictly related to each other. One representing the victim and the other representing the victimizer. To achieve this something related to each one was used. While I'm not sure what is referred to as the victim, I think I, I, it can be concluded that anything belonging to any villager would have served, gi given that they were all victims. As for something representing the victimizer, there may have been some more. Co that may have been more complicated. What could possibly relate it to a god? This god in question. Next, these elements had to be mixed with a rare med medicinal plant native to the region, which apparently had the properties to blend both items together as long as they were not t too solid. Finally, a branch of a particular tree whose name escapes me now had to be used as a holder of the blended items. It is on this item that a mysterious blessing was performed. It should be noted that all the elements had to be organic. The Dolmar successfully released themselves from the control of the vicious god with an intense ritual that seems to have taken days to perform. In the end, the amulet was so powerful that the en entity surrendered to their will and offered divine power in exchange for sacrifices, but the Dalmar wouldn't allow to be fooled. They decided that getting rid of the ev this evil once and for all would be the, mo the wisest thing to do, so they managed to capture its spirit and store it someplace where it could guard it for ages to come. My god, my god, the evil spirit was cast into a mask. Oh my god, trapped inside the confines of its blessed wood for eternity. A mask, which is which it which its description bears uncanny resemblance to Who am I fooling? It is that mask. The Dalmar would keep this spirit at bay via regular rituals, evolving the bloody sacrifices and the Ephorima F something amulet. <laughs> The last book I read today about the Dalmar, in reality, two small paragraphs as amu amusing bonus reading in a book lent by the museum, has revealed to me something that left me completely paralyzed with terror. I have always wondered since I began studying in them what made the Dalmar savagely slaughter neighboring the tribes without any apparent reason. Was it a violent raw instinct? Did it feel threatened in any way? Was it by a pers perverse and ungodly sense of enjoyment? No, it was fear. Fear that someone else would take the mask and release the god. They killed protect to protect themselves from falling again into the dark ages. If they went to such extreme lengths to avoid this, then what did they have to endure when the entity was free? The rituals haven't been performed on the mask for years now. What have I done? What have I done? Oh my god! I was shocked to learn about this evil, terrible as it was. I still wondered to what extent James Blackwood went to get rid of the curse. Oh my Jesus banana lord cries. So he probably killed his wife in order to make a blood sacrifice. That's my guess at least. Alright, more reading. Hey, hey. Christopher, these may very, may very well be my last notes in this regard. I'm afraid Catherine has already realized what I've been doing here all this time. 
In vain, I tried to explain it myself, and I know what might have been the outcome had it, I kept insisting. If you could only believe me, Christopher, because I know you intend well, but I can feel the doubt in your heart. Put your rational thoughts aside for a moment, and yield to the facts. If I can't do it, someone who has constantly taught in the wonders of science of ever since his childhood, then so can you. I am hoping that you will contemplate the possibility of some truth in my ass assessments once you read about my latest findings. It is imperative that you carry on with this task. Catherine is watching my every step and I am afraid she will take strong measures if I do anything out of the ordinary. Did you know? She has been talking to other doctors besides you, and psychiatrists. My god, Christopher, I fear that she is willing to shut me up in a madhouse. How is it possible that all of you won't believe me? As if what happened with my own son was enough proof. In my adjacent notes you will find an exhaustive essay on the origin of the curse and what sh should be done to eliminate it. I know the whole Hamlet deal will sound crazy, but you have to trust me. The tribe has been doing this for centuries. Are you going to forfeit all that knowledge and experience? They face a god, Christopher, and live to tell it. Now it's our turn to live and tell the story. And Christopher, if we fail to remove the curse and anything happens to me, I want you to do it. And I have my complete mental faculties as I'm asking you this. It has been becoming more and more dangerous lately. Do not hesitate. There is simply no other way and you would not you would be the only one left who can do it. Promise me. Promise me you will. I know I'm asking you to become a cold hearted murderer, but Christopher, I our lives and possibly many others are at stake. Isn't that enough to forget your vow? James. So I'm guessing to create an amulet we have to use uh, these berries. But yeah, I'm gonna end this episode right here. I want to thank you for watching. Gracias por ver. I wish to find this demo dudes, and I'll see you next time. Hasta luego!